Hello guys, welcome back to Ray's Gaming and Tech Productions and today I'm going to be showing you guys a quick and simple method of creating an autosave system for your Unity game. Okay guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and download the player prefs assets from the Unity Asset Store. I will leave the link to it in the description and just go down there and download it. And once you do that, it should automatically import it straight to your package manager and you should see this. Now what you want to do is you want to download it to Unity and then you want to import it. And once you import it, you should get this. Now you'll see player prefs editor. Now this is all you need. The key is the actual name of the save. And then the value is, at least in this case, it would be the number inside of the index, the build index. Now, speaking of build index, the build index is very important because you won't be able to save any of your scenes if you don't have that scene inside of your build index. So as you guys can see, I have scene one, two, three, and four, and they are set up as zero, one, two, three. So when you save your game, it'll it'll either show up as 0, 1, 2, or 3, or 4, 5, and so on, depending on what scene and what order it is in, in the actual build index. As you can see, when I put in the using and then I put in the Unity Engine, it'll automatically give me recommendations. And this is actually what you need to do. You will need this because if you don't do this, not, the script won't work at all. So go ahead and put using Unity Engine and you want to put scene management. Now, once you put scene management, all you need to put a dot scene management and you want to put a semicolon. Now, once you do that, that is all you need to make sure that everything else works. Now you want to go into void start and you want to actually declare the integer that the script will be working with. So you want to put int active scene and you want to actually declare what the integer active scene actually means. So in this case, it will be, it will mean scene manager and it will be dot get active scene. So that means that it will be as soon as you start your scene or you start that level, it'll automatically be finding what scene is currently active and you want to put the brackets and then dot build index. Now, once you do that, you want to just put another semicolon and you want to make sure that you put a semicolon at the end because that is how you basically finish off code in C sharp. Now we're actually done with this part. This is how you actually declare what scene is going to be saved. Now you want to actually move the integer or the scene number inside of the build settings straight to player prefs so that whenever you start or you want to load that scene you can do that so what you'll need to do is you'll need to go to player prefs and you'll need to do that set int now as you guys can see we have the integer right above it integer active scene and you'll need to go brackets and you'll need to put quotes and you'll need to put active scene. You can name this anything you want, but I would suggest that you name it active scene so that you know what it is. And then you want to go ahead and then put active scene. This is the integer. So it will, this will be the name of it. This will be the key and then this will be the value. So whatever scene that you are currently in, when it saves, it will be either set up as zero, one, two, three, or four, depending on what it is in the build index right here. And boom, that's pretty much it with actually moving it to the scene or moving it to player prefs. So now last but not least, this is optional. I I'm just gonna do this just so I know whenever it is actually working. And you want to do debug dot log quotes saved. Now th this right here will actually go in the console and tell me when it has actually worked. And I'm just doing this just to test it to make sure that it actually works for me. And I would suggest that you do it for you to make sure that the actual script works. Now you need to make sure that you save it by doing control S and then you want to go back to unity 
and it will compile it and reload script assemblies every single time you actually save your script. It shouldn't take too long and now you have it. Now what you need to do is you need to make a empty object or you can make a actual game object. You can make any a cube, sphere, capsule, cylinder, plane, or a quad. And you just need to go ahead and name it auto save and then add the script to it and you shouldn't have to connect anything to the script everything is built into the script itself and it automatically knows what player press is and last but not least you just want to go ahead and start it now i'm gonna go ahead and open console so i can see and make sure that it works and just go ahead and start and as you guys can see you guys he saved right here now the way to make sure that it actually worked is to now go into player press editor and you should see active scene now as you guys can see it says the value is three and that is actually right if you go up into file build settings you can see that scene four is in is at three in the build index 